In this video walkthrough, I'm going to show you how you can make a tarot card design using Kittle. Now we all know Kittle has a ton of great looking templates and there's a few different tips and tricks I want to show you for making a tarot card design. Now if you're not familiar with a tarot card design, it, a tarot card is used in things like fortune telling and it's kind of got a goth feel to it. There could be things like witches, kings, queens, and some astrology symbols. They're kind of creepy, they're kind of fun, and we're gonna make one in this video. And as we jump in on Kittle, if you like what you see, make sure to sign up. I'm gonna give you the link in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means that if you click on the link and you purchase the subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in. I'm gonna go over here to new project on the top right. Now from here, I can choose a standard preset or I can go into these POD presets. There's actually a print on demand section right there. And in this case, I'm gonna use a display Plate, which is 2900 by 4060 pixels and I'm going to click create. It opens up a nice little template right here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just click the background. I'm going to make it black just like that and I'm going to stick some texture on it as well. So over on the left hand side I'm going to click on textures down on the lower left and I can see there's different textures that come up and what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go to grunge textures, show all, I'm going to pick one, we're going to see it's going to populate on top. Now it may be hard to see because of the black so what you can do is you can go to normal, color burn, multiply, and you can go through a list of different ones. Now the black is not gonna show up a whole lot, so if you wanna change the color to something less than black, almost black, just like that, and look at the radical difference that that pops up as. Almost black is a pretty good black. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to elements, and I'm gonna type in the word moon, from here we're gonna get back a bunch of moons and I'm gonna pick something that looks kinda of creepy right there. Now if you wanna change the color of it, you just simply click on the object and then you can look over on the right hand side and you'll see the object color comes up and you can move the object color. You can make it as bright or as dim as you would like. So that's a really nice feature. Another thing that I wanna do at the start of the design is the idea of putting a border around it. So I'm gonna to go to go back that brings me back to the beginning of the elements. And I'm gonna take a look here for some sort of borders. So I'm gonna click on ornaments and I'm gonna see there's spot elements, ornate lines. And as I click on down, I can see there's large frames. I'm gonna click show all. I'm gonna click on this rectangular frame, make sure it's nice and big and I can stretch it out. Now you may notice when you're making these elements larger or smaller, the aspect ratio is locked. On these frames, one thing you can do is hold down the shift key when I hold down the shift key, I can actually stretch it. And so this is really helpful if you're trying to make it fit exactly on a certain sized template. I want my moon underneath the border just like that, but if I wanted to move it to the top, I simply right click it and I can go bring to front and now it sits over top of the frame. But I want it underneath, so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say go to back and that pushes it under the layer. Okay, so I wanna find the star of the show here for my tarot card design, so I'm gonna click on elements and I'm gonna type into the search window CAT, which is cat, and we're gonna see what comes up. And there's a perfect cat for my tarot card design. He's even got a skull pre-populated. Now you'll notice as I'm clicking stuff around, sometimes things will get, you'll like click on the wrong thing and it'll move around. So what I wanna do in this case, I'm gonna get rid of my cat here just for a second. I'm gonna click on the uh, frame and I'm going to align it center, both vertically and horizontally. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the layers panel down below. I'm gonna click on it, and we're going to see this illustration now populates. That's the frame. I'm just toggling it visibility on and visibility off. I'm gonna double click inside the illustration layer, and I'm gonna type in the word frame. And now I'm gonna click the little lock button next to it. That locks in the frame, so when I click on it, nothing happens. It's effectively cemented in now. So that's a really nice feature if you're finding that things are moving around when you're trying to click and resize, that kind of thing. All right, so we're gonna make Kitty Cat here nice and big. I'm gonna stick him right in the middle. I'm actually just gonna center him both vertically and horizontally. Okay, let's get some text in this design. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click the text button and I'm just gonna click headline at the very top. That's gonna to populate just a standard piece of text right dead center in the middle of the design. I'm gonna drag it down, make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna type in my text to start. I'm gonna type in black cat I'm gonna stretch them out, move them down, 
And now I'm going to find a font that I really like. So over on the right, I'm going to just select the typeface option and I'm going to scroll on down. Now there's options at the top. If you want to just script, for example, that will just filter scripts. If you wanted serif, that's going to give you the serif fonts. And of course, the sans serif fonts are there as well. There's even a nice other, which is kind of nice. I'm actually going to go through the other to start. And I can see here there's a Boca font that I really like. Now it's often the little differences that make the design go to the next level. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in the word star. And from here, I'm going to see there's a whole bunch of different options. I'm going to click on one, move them up to the top, and I'm going to match the color scheme that's already in the design. If I click on the object color on the top right, you're going to see down at the bottom there's all these document colors that come up. Sometimes you may want to standardize the document colors and make them like less. You don't want to have so many document colors. So just as an example, I'm going to pick this second tan color in to standardize it. And then I'm going to click the moon and I'm actually going to do the same thing. And if you do this enough times with your design, you're going to notice over time that the document colors will become less and less. You may just have three or four in the whole design. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying you may want to do that to make the design look a little more cohesive. And sometimes that's the difference between selling a print or not. I'm going to click on the other star here and that's going to populate. I'm going to throw him up in the top here. And again, I'm going to click on object color and I'm going to pick one of the tan colors there. I'm going to do the same thing actually here with the cat. I'm going to click on the red and make him the tan color. I'm removing a lot of the more dramatic colors and I'm replacing them with a few more just tans and blacks. Look you at know, the difference that I can quickly make here using Kittle. That's pretty cool. Okay, and I'm going to click on this star design here at the top. You'll see that this is a two tone. I'm actually going to change it into a one tone simply by clicking both colors and making them the same. I'm going to push them right down and make them tiny. And then what you can do is hold down the Alt key. And when you hold down the Alt key and drag, it actually will make copies. So you can quickly move stuff around and you can quickly add in a whole bunch of stars. Look at that in real time. I've got a starry sky now set up for the cat. One last thing I'm going to do here is go under ornaments and I'm going to click on ornate lines. I'm going to show ornate, ornate lines and what I want to do is underneath the black cat I want to put something in there and I want to make it relatively dramatic. So I'm going to click this one here. This is a pretty nice big gothic underline. And I'm going to put him right underneath here, center him, Make sure the object color is the same and I'm going to move black cat up just a tiny bit there. This is what I love about Kittle is you can spend more time designing and less time worrying about technical aptitude. It's really nice. I want to show you one last option you can do here if you're not happy with the font. So this is an option, optional thing. I'm going to go to go back and under Victorian, I'm going to click show all. And from here, I'm going to pick a little tiny ornament right there. I'm going to move them off to the side and shrink them down. Put them right here along the side. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key and copy it over. Now I'm going to right click on that second one and I'm going to say hit flip horizontal. So now I've got two of these designs. What I'm going to do now is orient them so that they're the same height. I'm going to right click and group them. So now they're like one design. And what I can do now is make my text a bit smaller, center it, and you can see now I've got ornaments sitting on either side of that which is really nice. And if you want to change the font, of course, you can scroll on down and you can find a completely different font that you may like. So there's a you know, radically change the font in just a matter of seconds. I really hope you found this helpful. In a matter of a few minutes, we've made a pretty good looking print that I think would be fantastic in a rec room, movie room, a kid's bedroom, all sorts of ideas. Kittle has just endless possibilities. I highly recommend that you sign up for them. I'll put a link in the video description below. Enjoy. Here's another video where you can supercharge your Kittle experience.